Welcome to this call to arms as we recognise the armistice of the 11th of November 1918, 100 years ago. We are reminded that World War I was triggered by the assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand by a young terrorist. We now make a brief summary of this conflict which became worldwide the 4th of August 1914 and lasted four years, three months, seven days. The worst rainfall for 30 years across the fields of Passchendaele, Flanders. These duckboards were built and extended for miles across the liquid mud German shell holes. If a Tommy slipped in, it was certain death by drowning. Due to poor intelligence while on the Somme, the British Tommies went over the top and as they walked into no man's land, a shower of German bullets cut them down. The Royal Navy sent dreadnought battleships into action against the Kaiser's Imperial Navy at Jutland. Although many British dreadnought battleships were sunk, the Kaiser's Imperial Navy battleships do not leave their home port again for the rest of the First World War. The Royal Navy and the Anzacs at Gallipoli, Turkey. The Anzacs were routed by the Turks, shouting Allah. We also remember the Royal Flying Corps, which came out of the British Army and became the Royal Air Force the 1st of April. 1918. Sadly, a high number of young pilots were killed during their training. Consequently, they never had a chance to fly over the Western Front trenches and protect the Tommies fighting below. It may seem ironic that in spite of all these strategic mistakes by Great Britain and so much death on both sides of this four-year conflict, the Kaiser, who himself was half British, abdicates, runs away and Germany finally surrenders. It may also be interesting to point out that despite the human errors and natural misfortunes such as the terrible weather conditions across the fields of Passchendaele, permanent and positive changes took place for the British nation. As all call to arms carry a biblical message, Genesis chapter 35 verse 11, as we recognise the armistice, we are reminded or learn for the first time of a promise made many, many thousands of years ago, forecasting a company or family of nations. Is this a biblical prophecy for the British Commonwealth, which came out of the British Empire? And so, in the cheery words of Rev. Bennett, good people, good people, I implore you, you know in your hearts that as the guns fell silent at 11 o'clock in the morning, 
11th of November 1918. It is important to remember this year, 2018, the two minute silence at 11 o'clock, 11th of November. 100 years later. The Great War was known as the War to End All Wars. With this phrase in mind, the 11th of November is a day to remember. Always. To discuss any of these topics in this video, please contact Rev Bennett using the email in the credits. I am Keith Stevenson. Until next time, goodbye.